Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game, back with Oxygen Not Included, the Cosmic Upgrade. Oh, look at this look, dance party going on here. Holy. <laughs> and I'm hoping I can probably, oh, well, I'm hoping I can get to the rockets today. I've never seen them so many, so many of these dancing before. I didn't know they could share it like that. That's awesome. Okay. So we, what did I do? I did a bunch of stuff off camera. We've been building up petroleum. So now I got enough petroleum to hopefully launch a rocket. Um, did some stuff off camera. I tried to fix this by making it out of ceramic and I just realized I didn't put the pipe in yet. I need some more ceramic, I think anyway. Let's queue some of that up. Now I did go a little bit crazy down here. <laughs> I extended my mushroom farm and I went around the map and I put fish traps wherever I saw kind of lone, lone fishies. There was a bunch up here. Actually, where am I? There was a bunch of up here. Oh, there's another one. I guess there's an egg in there, so I gotta go in and get him. Yeah, I put these fish traps in there. Grabbed the fish, I should put it there instead. Now, can I still go in there? No, I gotta let them in. I stopped them from going in so they don't run in here and get like little tiny bits of slime. So I put one there, I put one there. Uh, looks like we got another, another one here. Let's go get him. Fish drop, uh, right here. Okay, what priority? Seven, that sounds good. So I've been feeding these guys algae. I got an algae container here and then an auto sweeper that grabs from the container and sticks it in the feeder. And it pretty much fills this thing nonstop because these guys are really hungry. And I have a feeling once they're tame, they uh, they just keep multiplying. Now we'll run out of algae eventually. They chew through it so fast because each one eats 140 kilograms per cycle. So eventually we'll run out of algae, but for now we're going to build a giant fish farm. And that'll give us a bunch of shells that we can use to make uh, steel. And we need to do that. Okay, so there's that. Um, put some compost in here. I had some logic for going in here, but I just let it so that any dupes can go in because the slime gets picked up by these auto sweepers and put in the uh, mushrooms pretty fast, so not a problem. And food is just, we got almost a million food, so food's not a problem. I finally fixed this. I made, did some automation or some cooling. So I was dumping water in here and ice, but it was just getting warmer and warmer every time gold popped out of here. I might actually have too much water in there now. But um, what I'm doing now is I'm taking this polluted water here that comes out of this geyser at 30 degrees. And I'm sending it in a bit light pipe until we get to here. And then through a radiant pipe, we're cooling this chunk of water down and then we're recycling it back up here and we're sticking it into a sieve and destroying all that heat so it goes in at let's see goes in at 30 comes out at 51 so this water has been sitting at 51 for about 10 cycles now so it's working pretty well uh i dug down this way because the oil we we're running out of oil and the pump was too high i think the pump used to be right here so now it's down here just chewing through that oil now once we get down lower, I'll crack this open and we can let all this pour in. The Slickster farms are going really well. They're going so well that I ran out of CO2. Look at this. It's crazy. Never had that problem before. So we're getting critter starvation warnings. Um, which is pretty unusual. Uh, let's see here. I was sending CO2 that was collecting in the base with this tiny pump here. If it detected CO2 and the pressure was high enough through this AND gate, I pump, uh, I pump that air and sometimes it's oxygen. Now I'm pumping it down into our main CO2 line. Before I was sending it to the scrubber, but we don't really need that. We don't even need that scrubber there anymore. I should probably just get rid of it. Or Well, I'm going to disable it. Uh, I replaced my ladders with plastic ladders. We're running low on water here, and I think the only use for this water is the water coolers at this point. So I'll probably have to put a... Actually, for now, we'll just drop some ice in there. Uh, 
And we can probably just keep doing that. Now, do we have any shells? Oh, I think I have this. Oh, yeah, this set to shells. Okay. Good. With that fish farm, we're getting a decent amount of shells. Now, I, I could automate bringing the shells up from there. We could auto sweep them onto a track. But I, may, I might save some of that fine tuning till after we have rockets, because I really want to get the rockets going. Uh, I did some more stuff up at the top of the base. Uh, let's see here. I had some major problems here. All this was broken through. So it was extremely hot here and all that heat was just leaking into the base here. So I put an Invisalite line here and I thought that was going to be where I made the division between cold and hot. But then I put in another one here. And I'm just going to let this naturally cool down. It'll take a long time because that's a lot of mass, a lot of heat. Now look at this. Look at this. There's a water geyser right here in a terrible, terrible spot. Maybe it was okay when the game started and this was all not destroyed, but now it's all destroyed. And this thing pumps out a lot of water. 5.7 kilograms at 95. So this map seed is actually pretty terrible because there's a water geyser here in space. And there's a natural gas geyser here, which is pretty close to space. And then there's this one here, cool steam vent, which was right at the edge. Now, I just have it venting off into space because I don't want it to overheat everything. It's also insulated. And down here, I was generating oxygen and hydrogen to cool down the area, but this thing was not going to be able to keep up. There's just so much mass here of hot stuff that it's not going to work. So I'm just letting this oxygen actually vent out into space because it's hot. <laughs> Maybe I'll turn this back on in a while. This is staying reasonably cool in here because I've sealed it all off in abyssalite. So that's preserving that wild sleet wheat, which we're kind of partially living off. Uh, but I dumped a bunch of water in here that was up over this way. And we just have um, regolith in here. I could probably put some more containers in there, actually. Let's do granite. Stick them on this side. And we'll just store Mathic Rock in there, low priority. Sorry, not Mathic Rock. Uh, Regolith. We're just cooling it down in this water here. It's working pretty well. This water might actually get too warm, but we can just dump some ice in there. In fact, one of these containers I'll chuck ice in. That will help. We built this last time, never really got to use it. But you'll see I've assigned Michael to be our first astronaut. And he's got 37% job experience, even though he hasn't ever gotten on this thing. So your dupes get experience in astronaut, even without using this. Not sure why. But we're going to fire this thing up. And get Michael on there and see if he can train even faster. This thing is five tiles high, so I had to actually build some ladders, dig it out. Take the ladders down. And yeah, I guess I can take that away. Uh, there's a we had a bug before where all the bedrooms disappeared. Bedroom bonus, and that's happened again, and our bathroom bonus is gone. I hope they fix that, because we're missing out on a bunch of morale. If you look at the vitals, morale is way lower than it should be. We're not getting all our bonuses. Which may cause stress problems, but for now, we're, everyone's got a 20 morale expectation, except for Michael. Who's going to probably get depressed. Now, i got to figure out where I want to build my rocket. That's uh, a million dollar question. Let's zoom out here. See the base in all its glory. So I extended the bunker tiles as I had steel being made along here, and I, I'm going to continue that, but we got to conserve some steel for the actual rocket, because it takes, uh, let's see here, petroleum rocket engine, 1100 steel. Each thing, each one of these pieces costs 1100 steel, and we have 1100 steel, uh, so... <laughs> 
We're gonna have to maybe get some more fossil down from the oil biome to be able to make more steel. Got some here. That's diamond. I might as well just dig all this out at a fairly high priority. Dig that fossil out. What do we got here? There's more. Let's go in there as well. Get that. There's a little bit here. Just grab all that fossil. And we'll smash that up. There's some down here I can get, but then that's going to lower our pump. I could dig it out and then we'll fill it back up with tiles. Actually, how hot is this? 94 degrees, that's okay. Let's get that. Get all that. And they should be able to get back out. And we'll just build igneous rock. An igneous rock floor. There's also some in here I could get. Oh, I gotta extend my ladder down. Now, the game updated itself. I think there was a patch. The patch that probably broke the bedroom bonus. And it turned off that setting that I was using. The preview debug setting. Oh wait, this is granite. Actually, I gotta dig it out anyway. So things are really slow again, but then I was able to turn it back off that setting. And things were fast for a while, but now they're getting slow again. And I guess I'm gonna have to wait a while until we have enough enough steel to actually build the rocket. But we can figure out where we want to do it. Let's go back up to the top there. I'm thinking of putting it in here. And we can actually use the rocket to smash through a bunch of stuff and actually mine through it. Now, I don't know if it destroys it or whether it just... Um, it kind of mines it. But I gotta be able to get down here, so I'm gonna... I was thinking of putting a ladder right here. Down from here. Let's use mafic rock, so because there should be some mafic rock near the surface here. Party seven, we'll just go straight. Oh, there's a geyser in there. Just go straight down there to see what's in here, and I guess see what this geyser is. It is a geyser, right? Yep. Let's go super speed. I'll eventually use this natural gas. For now, I guess I can't. The uh, setup I have in the in space has been working pretty flawlessly. It hasn't had any issues. Now it does waste power, or not waste power, but it's not getting as much power as it could because it kind of turns on and off like this, letting the light through. But I, I like it. It seems to work fine for me, and it's very simple to set up. And even though the scanner can't see, it still works. It's able to detect meteorites and close these bunker doors in time. Now we're not even really using this power, so it's kind of a waste. Now all this algae is melting in here. Melts at 125. So I'll wait till they can, when they're, until they're done building all this out. And then we'll be back. Okay, I just realized something else over here. So but I didn't even notice the steam geyser. There's not another natural ga gas geyser right here at the very edge of the map. Which is awesome, but also terrible because we can't really use it. Um, until we have enough steel to kind of cover over this area, but that's going to take a while. And I wanted to point out one other thing. We're still right making our way down here. I'm curious what this one's going to be. Oh, it's a hydrogen vent. I can see without even digging in. Okay, let's not dig in. Actually, we could actually use that if it wasn't blistering hot to power our nullifier over here. 
I might as well dig in. It's not going to harm anything because it's just going to vent into space anyway. Yeah, let's actually continue down here. Yes, rock. Go right to the bottom, I guess. Not the very bottom, but... So I'm thinking of putting the rocket in here. One thing I'm concerned about is that all these rocket parts, they have an overheat temperature of 2000, except the gantry, which is the way we get into the rocket, has an overheat temperature of 75, and we can get that up to 125. So we actually have to keep it in a cool area, or uh, we won't be able to do this. And it's pretty darn hot in here right now. So I might have to even build it lower on the map and just like plow through all this stuff. That could be fun. Yeah, we could build it down here. We would let some hydrogen out, but that's not too bad. We could actually suck up all this hydrogen and put it in a storage tank or something. And we could dig out the good stuff and then put the rocket in here. Yeah, that would work. And then just destroy all of this. Hmm. That might work well, actually. I should get the algae. I should get the hydrogen. Do I even care about the hydrogen that much? Where could we stick it? Uh, hmm. I could make I could make this a room right here. Pressure is not too high. Use a high pressure vent and just slap all the hydrogen in there. Yeah, let's do that. Pretty simple. Use granite. Uh, actually, I better not do that because they're gonna probably gonna get trapped. So we'll build the bottom at the very end. And let's do a cast pipe. Granite's fine. We'll do a high pressure vent. And then we'll just blast all that hydrogen in there. Need some power though. Could I steal this power? Probably. This thing's not actually, it's all backed up anyway. Is it worth conserving all this hydrogen? I don't know, it's like... I feel like it's a waste otherwise. And how much can we fit in here? Probably a decent amount. Okay, let's do it. Then we'll dig out the algae and the coal. Just kind of prepare this area for the rocket. Where do I want to dig this out? Let's go... Where's my other ladder up there? I should actually dig this from the bottom up instead of the top. top. <laughs> uh, I should just maybe blast through this chlorine? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to let them catch up. We'll bring this down all the way using Mavic Rock. Actually, we have some, what do we have here? Igneous, igneous rock. I've been building this out of igneous rock. That's why it's taking so long. Maybe I ran out or something? Let's just use granite. We know we have lots of granite around. Down we go. We'll let that chlorine out. We'll let these trecos out. And all that air should just Flow out into space. Got to make sure this temperature doesn't heat up all this area down here. Maybe I'll do an airlock here. Where we can control things going in and out. Look at all this juicy coal. And then plan the rocket for like right here. Let's just take a look. I don't want to go through the natural gas geyser. There's all that nice oxalate in there. I should probably grab that. 
maybe stick that in the base. We'll have to strip mine it. Yeah, we'll stick that in a container in the base. Or underwater or something. I'll probably forget about it and it'll just stay there. Okay, let's copy these settings. And we'll stick oxalate in here. Is it consumable? Yeah. We'll do that at a high priority. And it should be okay underwater, I think. Didn't we get this fishy? I thought we got him. Let's get him fish trap. How old is he? Is he worth saving? Yeah, he's worth saving. Okay, they're slowly making their way down. I'll skip ahead again. Uh, maybe we could build it right along this ladder. Petroleum rocket engine. Oh, this thing's massive. I wonder if they can walk through this thing. Uh, hmm. Let's find out. <laughs> can always just destroy it. Oh, they can actually get up there. Because they can't dig it. Okay, we'll do that in a bit. Okay, there's <laughs> Captain G on uh, getting his G-Force training. So we got two people. We got Michael, Michael training on astronaut and we've got Captain G training on here. Yeah, and I probably should give it another coal generator to work with, but it should be fine. There's one other thing I wanted to point out uh, down here. Uh, we should take on this new dude. We got enough food. Uh, loud sleeper, mouth breather. Mouth, loud sleepers are fine at this point because we got big beds. Squeamish. Let's go with loud sleeper. Now, let's see, name wise, this is our master Aiden214. Welcome. Oh, and I just cancelled it. Arg. <laughs> oh, remember the name, good. Okay, the thing I want to point out was down here. Someone suggested that I, to prioritize my power, like I want my natural gas to be used first and my petroleum second. So what I've done is hooked up a smart battery to the petroleum generator that says, if the charger on this battery falls below 24%, kick in petroleum generator. And this battery connected to everything else is set at 78. So I'll we'll use natural gas and coal first and then petroleum second because we have so much petroleum now and that reminds me we need a petroleum pipe up to the uh up to the rocket i should start building that as well that has to be abyssalite and where are we going to build this thing we got a lot of pipes here maybe i'll go the other way up through here that might be easier Okay, abyssalite pipes, here we go, priority seven. We're gonna branch off here. Oh, it sounds like a dog is getting tortured outside. Not my dog, hope it's okay. Okay, we're going this way. This is hot petroleum, so maybe I'll keep it in this insulated wall even though it's abyssalite. And we'll go over here, through the base, nice and hot. And then where are we going? Right, right here. No, where am I? <laughs> right here. I think this is going to be the launch pad. I'm making an abyssalite floor. I probably have to do it too wide for strength, maybe. Maybe not. And I'm just going to build the rocket here and we're just going to plow through all this. It might hit this little... It might nick the natural gas thing, but we can just seal it back up. And it'll just plow through all this. I'm even going to let it go through the doors. 
and all this hot stuff is going to fall down. All this hot stuff here is going to fall down. Maybe that's not wise, but I feel like destroying things, so it should be a fun experiment. And we still have to train up our astronauts, though. Michael's getting there. So we can probably build the bottom part now. Let's see, rocket, petroleum rocket engine. Stick that right there. Awaiting steel. I guess they're gonna have to dig this out to build the rest of the rocket. Now where are we gonna go? I think, uh, what do we got here? We got carbon asteroid, refined carbon, coal, diamond. Metallic. We don't really need any metal. We can get a smooth hatch. Don't really need that. Iron ore, copper ore, stone hatch. Ice planet. Get ice. Wart seeds, sleet wheat grain. I, this sounds pretty good. Methane. I don't know what we use methane for. Oxygen. So we need a cargo bay for those four. And a biological cargo bay. And how much fuel do we need to get there? 30,000 kilometers away. Uh, I don't know how much fuel I'm going to need. I guess we'll build one tank and just find out. Priority. Let's make this priority 8. No one's really building it. Let's make it priority 9. I kind of want to see this built while I'm on camera here. And then I'm going to have to clear out some stuff here <laughs> in order to build. It's so much easier in debug to build these. Oh, I decided to just let this hydrogen vent out. I'm not going to put it in here. Since I found a hydrogen gen uh, uh, vent, we don't really need it. And there's hydrogen all over the place. What priority is this? Six. I just wanted to have a level surface here, even though I have my door layer up here. I wonder if I should just deconstruct these doors to get the steel. Maybe I'll do that. Then I won't have to blast through them and destroy them. Or actually, these ones. Uh, how hot are these? Actually, that steel's pretty hot. We'll just let them use... Oh, they're building it. They're building it. Oh, we got it. Crazy. We still have 1,900 kilograms of steel. What? How is that possible? Do we make that much in that amount of time? Okay, let's do uh, maybe a liquid fuel tank at the bottom. 1900. Unreachable dig. Okay. Let's build a ladder on the other side. Granite, sure. And I'm gonna have to Build some ladders to dig this out first. And maybe some scaffolding. Yep, yeah, we're gonna have to build some ladders and then take them down. Should be good. And then we can dig all this out. All this this airlock is not placed in the best best place. How hot is it up here? 90 degrees. Okay, let's move that airlock to maybe up here. Job's mastered. And let's just get rid of this airlock. Goodbye, hydrogen. It's been nice knowing you. I'm too lazy to build a pump and power and all that stuff. So 
So we're going to need at least one liquid fuel tank. I might need a couple of them. And they were building that pipe for me. Where did that end up? Right here. Let's extend that up. All the way up here. That's going to end up somewhere in here. And I'll let them catch up, because it's going to take a while to dig all this out. Strip mine this down. So I built some storage containers here, and I let some of this cold water out. So that, so that dupes can pick up uh, all this hot stuff that fell down as I was digging. Now it's okay if it sits here, because this is abyssalite, but there's a little bit down in this hole I wanted to pick up. And when we actually go on and blast through here, it's gonna knock out a bunch of stuff. Now I have them setting, having them set uh, to build this light here to keep this hot temperature out, but maybe I'm not gonna bother with that. We'll just get the next piece of the spaceship going, which will be a liquid fuel tank. That's all reachable. Good. How much steel do we have? 3,200. Okay, good. So they've been down there making steel. Oh, this water level is actually getting pretty high. Can we fill up all these containers already? Regolith at 200 degrees. I'm going to need to build more containers. We'll have filter medium forever. There's like so much in this one little pile. Crazy. And they're still working on the pipe. And how's the training going? Michael's only at 52. Okay, maybe I'll take Captain G off training. Because I think he's hogging that space thing. We'll put him down on something else. Has he been here yet? Yep. Oh, he's probably done this too. Cook. Okay, he can work on cooking. Oh, Adex can be... Lots of promotions here. Stinky. And Adex. I think almost all the dupes are close to being super dupes now. As in they have every single skill except for the space cadet. Juicy. Have you been a farmer yet? Yes. What about all the farming? Nope. Okay, good. Let's zoom out and see how they're doing here. I lowered the priority of petroleum, because we have so much petroleum now. So they should just be building this pipe and the fuel tank. I'm going to keep a close eye on steel, because I have a feeling this didn't take as much steel as it said it would take. But I could be wrong. I could have filled this with water to help grab all the heat, but not gonna bother. Too bad our too bad about our room bonus. It's gonna cause undue stress for a few dupes. I think I'm out of beds. We got fourteen dupes. Yeah, we have only just enough beds. Look at all that petroleum, it's crazy. Okay, I never put the bridge in. <laughs> Might as well do that. This light bridge. I'm in screenshot mode now, that's why I'm super zoomed out here. Okay, that's got... What priority is all this? Seven. I guess that's high enough. There's not much else for them to do, except for cooking. Actually, we don't need to cook anymore. We're fine for food. Okay, what's going on here with oxygen in the suits here? Whoa, the oxygen lines are really... not that good. Where's it all going? I guess some over here. Now, things were getting hot over here in this corner. And that was due to this natural gas. It actually did heat up. 
Oh, and I don't think I pointed out my chlorine room. I built a chlorine storage. Because the CO2 level kept on going up and down, down here, and I had my food here before, and oxygen was getting in there. So they run in here instead. And they get the soaking wet debuff, but sopping wet. Oh, how warm is it here? But it doesn't really bother me. I don't care too much. They might care, but I don't care. And we got a fridge up here for like food they can eat ready to go. We got a we got a Draco in the base. Oh, we got chlorine building up here. One other thing I did was put a water lock down here, right at the entrance to the base. That way, no slime lung would get in, because slime lung was kind of creeping in. Didn't want that. How much steel do we have? 3,500. Maybe make this higher priority. Actually, six is fine. Everything's nice and toasty in here. This water's fine for now. Okay, how are we doing up here? I guess you have to build this giant pipe first. That's gonna take a while. So I'll be back once the pipe is done and this is done. Okay, they're get they they got the tank done, or at least one of the tanks. And I'm not sure how far that's gonna get us. Probably gonna need more than one. I think one gets us to here. But we can't get information about the rocket until it's built in terms of how far it can go. So I might just go with three, or maybe two. I hope that's enough. I guess we just, we could just rebuild it if we don't have enough later on. I'll go with two. And it's, t it's taking them a very long time to build this abyssalite pipe. Uh, priority eight. So that'll go in there. This will go in here. And then we're gonna do a cargo bay right there. Let's make this a nine. I really hope two is enough. But, oh well, yeah, if we deconstruct this, all the petroleum is gonna fall out. Hmm. Maybe I'll go with three, just to be safe. I can't remember how many I need for sure. That says it only takes a hundred steel. Oh, okay, the tank only takes a hundred. Tank is a hundred. I think I was looking at, oh, it's the cargo bay that's a thousand. Two hundred, thousand. Biological, okay. So the tanks are pretty, pretty manageable. Let's get another pipe in here. Not like that. And I gotta take this scaffolding down. How hot is it up here? 83, we should be fine. So what was I going to put in there? <laughs> we want a cargo bay and a biological cargo bay. Okay. I'll have to skip ahead again just so they can build all this. I think the pipe is almost done except for this piece here. Oh, priority five. And I think it's, oh, they got this piece here. Seven, is that reachable? Unreachable build. We need a ladder. Okay, that should be the end of the pipe. I should actually probably put a bridge in here, but whatever. Actually, 
Since they haven't built it yet, I'll build a bridge. And the reason I build bridges all the time is if I ever want to cross it over, is one reason. And the other reason is if I want to empty the pipe, it'll empty it kind of from here, which is very handy sometimes if you want to deconstruct pipes. Okay, let's make this priority nine. Wait a minute, invalid, oh, I think it's invalid because I got stuff here. Maybe. It's gonna be a big rocket. Now I could use multiple cargo bays um, to bring back even more stuff. I think that's how it works. But I'm just gonna build one of each. This will be our first rocket, more of a test run. Okay, what is it complaining about? Invalid building location. Why? What's wrong with it? What is wrong with it? Okay, now it looks fine. That was weird. Maybe it was too low, too high. Okay, let's take these out. So biological, cargo, command module, gantry. 3,800 steel. Oh, it's getting close. Even though this video is probably gonna be an hour, I think it's probably gonna take three or four hours of recording because it's taking them a while to build things. Actually, super speed no longer works. It's, it's no faster than regular speed. So I'll be back. Actually, we'll, we'll queue up the end of the rocket and then I'll let them build it. Let's see what they're busy doing. I kind of lower priority of certain things. There's some idle dupes here. Oh, they're on, they're on rest break. Check the schedule. Oh, it's bedtime. Some are resting, some are sleeping. Our uh, Paku farm here is just going nuts. Look at this. Crazy. Overcrowded. Glum. I think we fed them pretty much almost all the algae. There's only 11 tons of algae left. I think I had 40 when I started this little experiment. These uh, squeaky puffs, they're not doing anything for me. Not helping. But one thing I want to build before this video is over, if I remember to do it, is the... This thing, the oxalate refinery. Uh, I might build one of those in the top right. Oh, how's our training going? 59%. We gotta wait for that as well, or we're not gonna be able to lift off. Okay, tank. Cargo bay. Okay, I think we have to wait until that's done before we can build the next one. So I'll be right back. It's taken a while to build this stuff. Yeah, it's a little hard on here. Okay, we got the biological cargo bay done and we have to do the command module next. I went in and I messed with the priorities a bit. Uh, put supply higher. Dupes that were good at certain things, I, I boosted them a bit, like Juicy's our best cook. I should probably do the same thing with art. Yeah. Pretty slow going, but we're almost there. The fuel's coming in. Actually, the fuel's done now. All tanks are filled. 900 kilograms per tank. And even though I set this to priority 9, it, um, pretty slow going. And we need a gantry. The gantry. Now, when I played around with this the first time, I didn't have it line up just just right. I think it's supposed to go... Actually, I don't even know where it's supposed to go anymore. We gotta wait till it's built. I thought there was a little door on this thing. 
I remember it lining up with the door. Maybe right here. That's hmm. Well, I need to dig out this area anyway. But let's get them to build this first. Come on, dupes. Where are you? What are you doing? What are they all doing? Oh, they're not going fast. That's why. I think I have branching a bit too high. Let's bring that down a bit. What else are they doing? Now I had to, I killed off a few oxygen vents so we could get more oxygen to the suits because they were not filling up, but I don't think that's the issue. I think they're just working on stuff that they're not supposed to be working on. Don't they want to go to space? Oh, they're going down here. What are they doing down here? Delivered ice. Oh, man. <laughs> I forgot I even did this. Okay. Let's turn that off. Oh, I just turned off the wrong one. We don't really need all that ice there. What priority was that? Six. Okay. What else are they doing in here? Where, where are they going? What are they doing? Picked up diamond. For what? Where are they taking that diamond? Where are you going? I don't think I built anything out of diamond. Unless it's up in space. Where are they going? Okay, who is that? Astronaut Mastery? Oh, it's Michael. Oh, maybe that wasn't... What the heck? Anyway. Michael should be concentrating on training. Priority 9. And how are we doing here? Oh, they got it done. They got it done. Okay, there's the door. You don't... That's weird. The ghost outline has no door. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, we gotta dig out this, I think. And remove the ladder here so we can get that gantry in. And I think it lines up just below. Right there. Yeah. So, actually, I have to dig lower than that. Let's dig here instead. And we need a way for them to get onto the gantry. We might need a little ladder over on the other side. But they're busy doing other stuff. What are they doing? They're up in space. Okay, there they go. If I remove this ladder, I'm worried they're not going to be able to get through, so... Maybe we can keep that one. Okay, that's not going to work. Okay, I need a little platform out the side here. Ladder to the side. Let's do it here. Take that out. Take that out. I'll take that ladder out at the end and then we'll build it. I'll be right back. Okay, so some quirks with building this thing. It actually requires power. 1200 watts, so I had to build a coal generator down here. And I went to go put Michael in. I went. I wanted to see if Michael was ready, like whether he had the training. And I saw that he wasn't here anymore. So I'm like looking around, I'm looking around. Where's Michael? Where's Michael? Michael's gone. <laughs> Michael has disappeared. And in here, 
he is also gone. He is just gone, but he's in here. He's actually inside here, and I guess once he's inside here, he's no longer part of the, uh, the list of dupes. Very strange. So I put an Atmos sensor here just to be able to quickly retract the gantry. Missing gantry. Do we need a gantry to take off? Not sure. Okay, let's assign ice planet. Actually, let's look at this rocket detail. Fuel tank not full. I disagree. Fuel tank required. What the heck? Oh, these are all checked. Okay. Uh, weight penalty. Total. Total weight. Uh, got some stuff. Liquid fuel tank. These are red. I don't think those should be red. Oxidizer. Passenger. Michael. Okay. Back to the list. I think we're ready to go. I think we're ready. Let's, uh... Okay, actually there's a dupe up there. <laughs> Let's go slow. Let's launch this thing. Now is this gonna break this? I guess we'll find out. Actually, I'm gonna save my game really quickly. Really quickly. Uh, let's save this. Lift off. Just in case. Just in case I wanna see it again. Okay. Star map. Launch rocket. There we go. No sound? <laughs> there it goes. Destroying everything in its path. Oh, <laughs> including the door. Oh, there's a dupe over there. Oh no, they're gonna get stuck. Intensely bright. Oh no, they're stuck there. Oh no. Okay, um, let's build a ladder really quickly. Priority 9 so they can get back. Oh no. Can they... Can, I'm gonna move them to here manually. <laughs> we gotta put those doors back in. Because all that regolith is gonna fall down. <laughs> oh, I saw them jump on there quickly. Okay, how much air does Super Server have? Not much. I probably should have set up power and did this properly, but... I, uh... Let's go faster. I just felt like getting that rocket launched. And I think I should probably replace those blast doors. How much steel do I have? I have enough. Priority 8. Get those back in there. And I think I'll just manually deal with that, because I don't want to build my door crusher thing again over here. I'll just manually hook up some wire. Power. Conductive wire. Let's just do this. And what are we going to power that with? Good question. I think we're already using too much power on this line. Uh, what should I do? I could extend it over here and have a separate circuit for all that. I think I'll do that. I'll do that off camera because it'll take a while. But let's just see. Star map. 5%. Ooh, we got a little underway. Cool. So I'll be back once the rocket actually gets over there and I kind of build this out. Okay, so the rocket is almost back. It says it's 96%, 0. 0.4 cycles to go. And I set up a power line that goes all the way down to this coal generator in order to open up these doors. But we're going to have all this regolith fall in, which is not good, but I should probably open those doors now even though all this hot stuff is going to fall down because the rocket will destroy it otherwise, I think, when it comes back in. Or we could see if it destroys it. Hmm.
Maybe I'll just see if it gets destroyed. Maybe it, maybe it's not programmed to kind of uh, break things on return. That would be nice. Okay, how close are we? 99%. So close. 99. <laughs> I want to slow things down when it comes back in. Where are you, rocket? Oh. <laughs> okay, that answers that question. Liquid steel. 2200 degrees. No. Okay, there's the rocket. It's not really... Oh, it's kind of there. Kind of not there. <laughs> now, temperatures down here were already pretty darn hot. 126 degrees. I put a bunch of Weezwarts in. And I've been putting Regolith in this water tank, but that's not going to last forever. So here it comes, along with a bunch of molten... Oh, did the tank... No, the tank's there. Wow, it's going to be so hot here. And it's back. Oh no. <laughs> Michael. Oh, I forgot to open the... Uh, or turn this back on. Oh, is he going to die? Oh, he's fine. He's happy. <laughs> he's probably boiling. Oh, he has no exosuit on. He lost his exosuit. Oh, that's a bug. Oh no, we got... How did... How did we get... Molten... Phosphoride in here. Oh, that's really not good. Mop that up. Wow. Okay. Oh, he returned his invisible suit. I guess the... I should write all these bugs down. Where is this water coming from? <laughs> Where's the water coming from? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I was I was putting some water here. I got to turn that off. Okay, I want the water to remain, but I don't want this phosphorite. Where should we take the phosphorite? Okay, what did we get? Cargo, empty. Biological cargo, empty. Um, okay, where's the stuff? I forgot to check all the stuff before it left and after. Hmm. I know we were supposed to get some wheeze warts. Where did they go? Hmm. Tank not full. Fine. I don't know where this stuff goes. <laughs> we were supposed to get wart seed, sleet wheat grain, methane. Okay, we're supposed to get methane. Where is that methane? Crushed ice. Liquid. I don't see any methane. It's a gas, though. Maybe. These wart seeds. Wart seed, zero. I don't think we got anything. I think that was, uh, <laughs> I think that was a useless trip. Uh, it was fun to launch. I'm going to do some reading and maybe some bug reports. <laughs> but at least we got a rocket underway. We fried our base. I might actually roll back to a save before all that because it's just melted everything. But we'll see. Maybe before launch because the launch didn't work out so well. But I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.